How's it going, everybody? Zoinkmeister Patrick here, joined today by John. Hello, everybody. And today we're playing more Atomic Heart on the PC. Let's get radioactive. There we go. <laughs> All right, and we're back in. There's an enemy there in the distance, but um, I don't think I have to worry about it right now. A lot of stuff to collect. Though. Yeah, you just finished killing a bunch of things, so I guess you got a lot of collections to do here. Yeah, and there was this dead guy in the next room. Yeah, 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 this guy. I'm trying to talk to him, but he's not. I quit the academy to escape the experiments. Yeah, he is going to talk. Okay. I'm a doctor. I was the one doing the experiments. How dare they experiment on me? How dare they? So he's one of the dead people that just kind of talks on their own. I don't want it. No one wants it. We just don't know it. Does he have a... I don't like it. Does he have one of those things hanging out of his ear? I uh, really see it. Oh, yeah. Never in. Death everywhere. Nothing but death. The launch can't happen. It can't. I'd rather be nowhere. I'm never getting out of here. I don't want to become nothing. The polymers aren't what you think. They're not for what you think is right. Collective doesn't exist. The thing that exists isn't collective. What the? No, get out of here! You stupid doll! I don't want you to put that poison in me! Yeah. That is, uh, what do you call he it? He was converted to a mutant, I guess, huh? Foreboding. Oh, interesting. I wasn't thinking that. I assumed he was filled with um, polymer. Oh. Which is something that they're going to address later. The spoilers for the fact that I've seen way more of this game. But, um, so the thought device doesn't work unless your body has, like, polymer in it that connects it. Like, polymer, like, I don't know, somehow, like, connects to or latches on or, like, coats your um, nervous system. And so that's what allows your your brain to connect to your thought devices because you have like polymer infused blood. Also, like I noticed this was like a real human. That, yeah, we hadn't seen a real human just laying there dead before. That's like, the first. Yeah, it was like, I mean, we've seen some, we've seen some like dead soldiers, but right, it was just, true. that was like a brand new character model. Like I, it, was, yeah. it was such a surprise. I was, I like had to make sure <laughs> it's like, is this isn't a doll. Like, what am I looking at? Yeah. Um, it was no, just she so was only half dressed. I mean, she couldn't have been. Didn't seem like a soldier in the army or whatever. Right. right? You didn't have like an army uniform. On yeah. Side. Like, cause you know, we've, we've seen dead bodies, but like they're always army right. people on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, and she didn't have anything to say or anything. That's the other thing is like, sometimes they're unique models if they have something to say, but not usually, there's usually not like a random dead body like that. Uh, first time we've seen that, I felt like, so I, it really caught me off guard. I guess cause it's a hospital, I guess. So it's just, yeah. Cause like even this guy, right? He's wearing like a uniform or something. Right. Right, he seems like military. I'm here, uh, honey. Now this guy's turned to a mutant for sure. I'll be with you, whatever it takes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that was patient zero for the um, for the mutant virus that we kind of read about that in the emails. It's the two. Look, this glowing book. Did you translate that? Uh, yeah, that's mother and daughter. Interesting. Set. Okay, because I, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I cut it out, but I spend a long time with this book. Like, I, I kept trying to like <laughs> figure out where it was supposed to go. I thought it was like a key item or something. So I, yeah, I like mm. carried around. I was like, is this the lock to the door? Maybe. <laughs> I, was just, I was so confused. Yeah. No, I think it's just more about how many women are, are dying inside this event, basically. Yeah. It just has to do with that. Even the guy who was converted to a. Um, you know, to a mutant even, he was talking to like his wife or something, right? It sounded like. So. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, his wife was, I think, patient zero, but he seems to be the first one that actually got turned into a mutant where she, I think, just died from it. So all the data is deleted from all these emails in the facility, which was um, also interesting, just in its yeah, own right. Yeah, that's kind of suspicious. Right. It's for like, sure. what the heck is going on with this hospital? And then this key code, um, which I will admit I had not seen anything for up to this point. I was kind of lost, but those That's two handprints, crazy. did you see that below the, the key code? Oh no, I didn't see it. That was a hint as to where the, the key is. Oh, okay. is there's, there's two handprints right underneath. But when you come um, to unlock it, we'll see it again. Yes, so I, assumedly, uh, unless I, I cut to myself Rush already. To yeah, I'm not sure, but hopefully we'll see that again. Uh, I'm just doing more looting, you know. Lots of junk around. A lot, lot of um these chippers. You're incredible, Professor. Your calculations and solutions are so elegant and logical. Your work on mimetic polymer adaptation is an amazing contribution to science. Thank you very much, but it was really a team effort. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, who are you? Ivan Vikov, junior lab assistant at the Pavlov Complex. 
I work in the archives, but my dream is to work under you. I'm a huge fan of your work. Well, your passion is commendable. Although it is, frankly, a little concerning. The polymers are a quickly evolving scientific field with amazing potential. But I'm afraid passion alone won't be enough to advance it. Let's talk again in a month or so and see what we can do. For now, uh, please excuse me. Science calls. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Oh wait, he's, there's a little bit more here. A month? But I don't have a month. You'll hear about me, mm. Professor. You can bet on that sounds like he's gonna be a bad guy. Yeah, so he comes up again in future chirpers, so to so keep him in mind, but um, this is also important. It just says that uh, all the data has been deleted because of an emergency, which clearly the mutant outbreak is the reason why all the data has been deleted down here. Um, so that's all that that said. But the other thing is we got to hear Zakharov in that uh, um, chipper. Yeah. And Zakharov is the best friend that was killed by getting pushed into the red polymer. Uh, he, he was, um, um. yeah, he's our boss's best friend. Uh, mm. that we keep hearing about little he's the guy that remember downstairs someone was like he's still alive or upstairs I guess technically they, that one guy was like Zakharov still alive and you're like what do you mean and he's like these papers they have his like name written all over him whatever like his style his writing styles all over them um, and so that that was we got to hear Zakharov actually there which is interesting because I know a little thing that you don't know and getting to hear his voice <laughs> was actually like very interesting. So I don't I don't I don't know. Probably no one in the universe is following this series closely enough to, to follow this recommendation. But when we get to a future episode and you hear who he is, it would be awesome to come back here and listen to that voice recording again and see if you hear what what I heard. Um, OK, because that I thought that was just kind of interesting. Uh, and we'll try to I'll try to remember to talk about it when we find out who he is. I'll, I'll probably forget, but um, I'll do my best to bring it up. <laughs> you find these little metal parts around. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, I, I'm just looking for <laughs> I'm looking for chippers, honestly. And so that's why when I just see a glowing blue thing, I can't mm. tell what it is. Um, and then uh, I, I definitely don't need the metal parts at this point. I'm just like, I don't know what's what. So I'm just grabbing everything so that it makes it easier for me to tell if I miss something, basically. OK, Yeah, because usually it's a large collection of junk. And then uh, yeah, I focus on getting one little metal parts. Like, really? <laughs> that's pretty crazy to do. Yeah, no, I'm just looking for chippers. And uh, even though when I see that they're metal parts, I could easily just move on. But it makes it harder when I'm looking around the level to see if I haven't like here. It's very clear. I can tell that I have I'm not missing anything. Whereas if I see a bunch of blue dots over on the floor over there, I'd have to remember that they're mm. metal parts and not chippers, basically. Um, so that's why I do it. So you can see there's a hole there in the other room. Uh, and so it's there. On like the there's left. a lot of enemies downstairs somewhere. Right, but I'm looking. I'm trying to figure out where this hole oh, is. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's kind of that's what I was doing there, um, and then I do actually. I was like, Ooh. find your way through the hole. Nice. Yeah. So that felt like a little secret. It's crazy because way back in the beginning of the game, we found a room like that where I, I never found the entrance to it, and I'll bet it was something like this that I just didn't. Mm. I didn't know at the time to look for vents. Uh, it was just a total coincidence that I happened to spot the vent in that room. I was like, oh yeah, that's a thing in this game. Um, <laughs> so hmm, cool. Yeah. Nice. I was very proud of being able to find and I actually thought this was where the clue was going to be for the uh, locked door. I assumed it was going to be in this room. Um, no, it's going to be more special stuff because they're not going to expect you to be able to solve this, right? So this is going to be extra, extra stuff you wouldn't have gotten if you didn't know how to. Well, so they, yeah, I guess so. I assumed that the, the lock would be hidden somewhere. So I was like, oh, it's probably hidden in this room. This one's kind of interesting. They're here. And also remember that because I think I find this exact drawing somewhere else, but it doesn't translate it next time. So they're here. I don't know exactly what that means, but um, it'll be interesting to see comparing this to um, kind of the, the next location that I see that exact drawing in. Um, so I'm looking for the uh, the lock at this point. Yeah, I'm kind uh, of wandering around trying to see if I can find it. Uh, and turns out there's the hands. OK, those hands are underneath the lock. Huh? Yes. So that's, oh, okay. that's kind of I how I noticed that before. Right. That's how I put that together is I was like trying to I'm saying it way too far back at this point. Um, yeah, those hands in a circle are, are kind of the hint that this is where you should be looking. I think I need to stand closer. I don't think I understand that. There we go. There you go. <laughs> now it's a circle. Well, there's a circle there. Okay, two more circles there. So yeah, it's like right, then middle, then down. And then this little splatter, I can't tell. It kind of looks like there might have been a circle there. Huh. There's so much blood on the wall, I can't tell. Um... So it's just kind of my assumption is that looks like it's the only other place that you could like maybe that put a circle on the wall kind of looks like the lock too, I guess. Oh, maybe. Yeah. 
But yeah, so we will see here because I run back up to the lock. So if you just look underneath the lock on the door here right now, you see there's two handprints down there. Oh, yeah. OK. Yeah. So that's kind of the so uh, I input it the first time. Like I, I wasn't quite sure how to do this. It's like put it yeah, like that. Do you start at the top. You start in the middle. Right. Like, I don't know. Do it again. I just kind of slightly move that bottom one. And that, that turns out to be it. I don't know. I don't know how you did that. That's it was like top crazy. down and then like slightly right. And I don't know. Yeah. Because it needed four. I knew it needed four at least. So it was kind of, it, that was not an easy one. I'll say yeah, that. Because it wouldn't stop until you pushed four buttons. Right, right? exactly. So, yeah. Just a matter of figuring out what the fourth one was. But otherwise, a bunch of chests, a bunch of good stuff. Lots of good junk in here for sure. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think um, I end up, the funny part is I, I might already be fully upgraded with everything. Yeah, this was just a metal yeah, piece. there's a metal but, piece on the floor. Don't want to leave without that. Gotta get that, gotta get that metal yeah. piece. Yes. <laughs> Woo. It's such a fun little game. Just be like, can I grab every little metal piece? Uh, more deleted data. Yeah. Nothing mm. particularly interesting. Although this one was kind of cool because there is an email here. Oh. Um, so this one's just describing that that couple uh, and kind of what's going on. It's a lot to read. I'll let people pause and read it if they want to. But um, did you end up reading this or just let it go I by? I didn't read it. No, okay. I let it go by. Yeah, I think it was just mostly talking about um, the sort of mutation. I don't know if you remember, there's a giant mutant plant. Oh yeah, so there it is. I finally finished upgrading the, I got the thermal scope on the shotgun. And so that was kind of the final upgrade of the game. Oh, okay. Um, so now now all the weapons are completely fully upgraded, which is nice. Okay, you got thermal scopes on everything. So yes. thermal scopes are gonna be important eventually. Uh, you know, actually, I, that's I'm curious because either in this or the next episode, I'm wondering if you'll see, if you'll agree with me that the thermal scopes actually kind of come in clutch. Um, I, the shotgun doesn't need it, honestly. I, I feel like the shotgun might even be better yeah, without it. Well, unless it's like completely dark, I guess. But but the machine guns actually, yeah. you'll see, I, I end up, um, and the, the pistol too, the machine gun, the, anything long range. Yeah, long range and it's easier to see people, I imagine. Right, yeah, that's kind of the big thing. So for shotgun, it doesn't make any sense to have the thermal, but um, for for the pistol and machine gun, if I, I actually end up using them pretty soon in a really interesting way. Uh, these puzzles got really hard. I don't know if it's this one, I don't think it's this one, but there's an upcoming puzzle where I got like really stumped. Um, one more. Oh, yeah, because I, I was going to do it too. So I was like, oh, wait, uh, my brain. OK, move it there. No. No, <laughs> I almost have it. There you go. One more. There yeah, you go. There it is. Nice. Yeah, that those there's one that like really, really stopped me. Uh, where I, like I legitimately was like, is this solvable? <laughs> but it wasn't this one. It was it's coming up. I'll point it out when we get there. Uh, there's another lock like right there on on the other door. Um, there's no real reason to do it, but this guy I'm trying to figure out how I want to kill him. I end up going for this. Yeah, I can just smack him. Just you know, it says CCCP. I looked that up too because, like, why is why do we call it USSR if it's CCCP, right? Oh, interesting. And it's the uh, it's kind of the way it's actually pronounced when you the oh. word CCCP whatever in in um, uh, Russian. Yeah, it's, sounds like. S U S S sounds like the word that Americans make it out of. Oh, so the way we say it, we pronounce it the same way, but it's different letters than what they have. Interesting. So, okay, because their letters pronounced differently than yeah. our letters. Yeah. So that's kind of interesting. Yeah. So 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 when they read C C P, they would pronounce that as U S S R. It's the same words. Yeah. It's, that's crazy. Yeah. Oh, so this um, this is kind of interesting. I want to I want to focus on how I unlock this because this is how I've been doing it. You see, it takes 17 seconds left so uh -huh. that the countdown gets to 17. I forget where it starts, but the point is that that's how I've been unlocking it up until this point. That's the last time I'm going to unlock it that way. I figure out a new way to do it. That's three seconds faster. Um, and mm. you'll see that next time I unlock something. So I just want to point that out next time we get to one of those style locks. Uh, I found it by accident, but I, I started doing it ex that way from now on because it's three seconds faster every time. So I'm trying to figure out how yeah. I want to kill these guys. I end up going through this. It ends up being a dumb it's idea. Like a robot's going to protect you from them, basically. Yeah. So that's what eventually I'm like, wait a second. Can they even hit me? <laughs> as long as you don't go buy it, if right. they come after you, then the robot's going to get them. Where the fuck did you even come from? Oh, uh, but you're kind of. Actually, you can't destroy the robot, I'm guessing. No, no robot's what? invincible, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm just luring Ouch. them into it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, here comes another one. Killed that guy. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Wham, wham, wham. Oh, <laughs> he pushed that one by. Nope, it's dead. 
Yeah, I was like, is he gonna make it? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh that's bad. Wow. Uh, I don't think he's gonna be in Rush Hour 3. Uh, oh, he threw something at you. Ouch. I was like, oh, I did not see that one coming. He really thought things through. That's pretty funny. You see how that dot is on the uh, the floating guy there on the right? I don't, I, I don't want to focus oh, on yeah, other things yeah. right now. That's because he's dead in midair, and he never went through his dying oh. animation. Oh, um, this guy made it through. Yeah, I, oh, he stole. He died in one hit, though. He was very much on the brink of death. Uh, so yeah, you'll see that I, I collect this thing, I think, is alive because it's still flying, but it's actually already dead. Huh. It doesn't even know that it's already dead. <laughs> How weird. Huh. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, come in here, save. It's a job well done. <laughs> um, so yeah, pretty, pretty interesting. Pick up junk without getting hit by the robot. That's pretty good. Yep, 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 yep. I'm doing my best. It's so, like this sort of stuff's interesting too for thermoscope because um, it lets you check to see if these mothers are alive or not because they look almost identical. Yeah, I actually thought it was dead. It was pretty funny, but it was glowing, so I should have known. But like that thing's still alive. Got it. Yeah, other than if they have the dot on them, then clearly they're dead, but they look almost identical, alive and dead. So uh, for really long distance stuff, it, that they're also pretty good to have a thermoscope for. Although again, that, like, we're going to see pretty soon, I think, here. Um, it might be next episode, actually, not this episode. Next episode, we'll see kind of what the thermal scope comes into play. Looks like tons of enemies still around, but... Yeah. Once you go through that door, I guess. Yeah. I thought it was going to lock behind me. It did not. Um, that's good. That's what my kind of paranoia is That's here. just an engineer robot there on the ground, right? Yeah, just... Yeah, dead engineering robot. Nothing to see here. Um, this was kind of an interesting area, though, because I come down here and it's like... Nothing's in this room. I don't really get the point. Yeah, that's weird. It's like, okay. <laughs> Could be some kind of a puzzle eventually, probably. Right, yeah, that's what I assumed. I was like, I I'm sure there'll be a puzzle eventually. There you go. I'm trying Take to him out. figure out yeah. if I've been seen yet or not, because they made a bunch of noise. I don't know if that was very audible for you at home, but... Um, th and he comes chasing after me, but I assume it's just his, like, patrol, because he doesn't... He's not attacking he's not right. Oh, there he ran. There he looks like he knows you're there. But he's not. He's not attacking me. He's just wandering and his like he's directly underneath me. So if I move, he yeah. moves with me. But he's not like mm. he can't see me, but he knows I'm there somehow. It's pretty yeah. weird. So I was trying to sneak up behind him here and get like a stealth takedown. And you'll see me try that here in a second. It does not work. So I use mm. the old rocket launcher to the face technique. So I have three of those now. And it only killed him in two shots. Remember before it took three. I think that's just if you don't get a direct hit. Mm. Um then I was like, did this guy hear me? Uh, I'm just gonna wait for him, but then I have to reload because it takes three and I or two, and I only have one left. And so then this guy. Oh, he sees you, huh? Did I get him? Oh shoot! <laughs> I got him. That was pretty funny. I really like that fight. I mean, it wasted a lot of Fat Boy rockets, but it was <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Uh, then taking out yeah, these guys, I was trying to figure you. out. Yeah, they're running this way. I was like, how do I kill him? He was like, oh man, uh, he jumped back. I know, right? Do this whole combat scene. I'm like, wait a Ooh. second. I can just and everyone in the wow. room's dead. Wow, that was an easy kill for sure. Yeah, you can see me like ready for a fight, right? I was like, oh, swing at this guy. And then I was like, wait, nope, that he's they're all dead. <laughs> they just fall six feet off the ground. They're gone. It was like, oh, well, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. Something in there. Yep. Going for a lot of headshots there. Yeah, easy enough. Yeah, I mean, not too bad if you see it coming. Um, that's a lot of this game is like, if you if you know what to expect, you can really head it off in the pass. Uh, I feel like it's. It, you're at your worst when uh, enemy attacks you by surprise and suddenly you have to figure out how you're going to kill him. You plan ahead, then it's just like, oh, okay, I can. everything's pretty easy. Plus, I'm, I mean, fully upgraded at this point, right? All my weapons have every right. possible upgrade on them. Um, okay, okay. My, my polymer glove still needs upgrades. I'm not I'm not done yet mm. there. but So that's why I'm still collecting stuff if you're wondering, right? It's like, why are you still... Well, you still need, um, like, health cures and you still right. need weaponry and things like this. I um, need bullets and, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is interesting so it's like telling you the puzzle i think i didn't recognize that at the time i was like okay water delivery system hmm. the thing tells you to press a y on it um oh uh, okay so i'm like all right i'll give Push it a, a shot y. there you go you started the water system no that's supposed to close the door it just didn't oh. do it <laughs> it just broke the door's broken dang i was like okay oh look there's a there's a turn handle. Normally this like rotates those big rotation puzzles. So I was expecting something to rotate in the yeah. room. You opened a water valve. Nothing did anything. Uh, some water came out, I think. Maybe? You just opened up a water valve is what you did. I tried rotating it again and I can't. It's like, okay. Normally that goes in a full circle. You can turn it like four times. Every other time we've seen it in the entire game, that's how it's worked. Um, but this time it's just like, 
Okay. Maybe you should have gone, gone back to that Y again. Maybe that would have been a difference. Maybe, yeah. But going here and suddenly this is full of water. Oh wow, now you're swimming. <laughs> so this empty room just got filled up with water. Huh. I don't like, uh, I still don't understand the puzzle. <laughs> I guess that gives you access to the ceiling. If there wasn't right. filled with water, you wouldn't have access to the ceiling. So scanning, you can so see, cool. yeah, there's this hole in the ceiling. So I come out of the hole and I'm in the next room over. Okay. And that so, was the whole puzzle. Yeah, it was a good thing that you opened that valve then. Right, yeah. I just didn't even know the puzzle existed until <laughs> I, was like, I was like, oh, but here I do this. So this, I do it on accident, but you can see the whole three seconds faster. See, ends on 20 instead of 17. So I do that from now on. You just click it whenever you see a green light, all right? I mean, you just whenever uh, you see the line up. Right, but the pattern, I've been doing different patterns. Oh, to, okay. So, because uh, it goes faster every time you click it, so you can't, like, it's hard to time unless you get, like, a, a rhythm going. And so I, I just kind of have, like, a set rhythm. So there's the 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 Pailush, I think is what they're called. It's more patience than here. Yeah, so here we see finally, like, but this is, like, a standard default, you know, type of, like, I can tell all these people look identical, right? It's like that one lady looked unique. Yeah, and I don't know why she exists. I, I we haven't seen her before. I don't know if I've seen her since because there's a ton of this character model, right? Like there's ten there's of them in this room. In there, yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know what was with that random lady back there. It's like she was the only one that looks like her. Well, I think there's actually we're gonna see a second one in this room that you might think be the this same. Is, these things are to convert them over to uh, mutants, or do you think it's to try to heal them? Those um, water containers. So it looks like question. a Star Wars water. You know, back to tank. Trick. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Uh, I gotta sneak up on this guy right here. <laughs> Pretty cool animation. Yeah. The rest of these guys. Now they saw you though. I put on my shield, which I don't know why I didn't just like, I think I think about it here. I'm like, why don't I just, here we go. There, Blam. everyone's dead. Yeah. <laughs> it's like an effective way to get those guys. I should have oh, just. You knocked over that table though. Started with that. There we go. Pretty easy. Yeah, easy to kill. I'm gonna guess. Uh -oh. Here comes somebody. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. Did I lose? I lost a little bit of health. Are there more enemies? There are. Yeah. It's like, I better get rid of these things first. There we go. This is a new enemy type, the lab coat uh, mutants. They huh. they they move very differently. Um, they're like much lighter, and so you can see they jump around a lot and are harder to hit. Mm. See, I'm taking forever to kill that one. Um, so th that's the standard like lumbering mutant type that we've seen the whole game. Um, but yeah, there's this new lab coat one. So you'll see, I'll point them out kind of as we go. Uh, we've run into a couple of them coming up here. They're, they're the new enemy of the area. I don't know what that guy's deal was. <laughs> <laughs> Took that out, he didn't seem very effective. There's another enemy right here. Hello. So you see if I cancel it too oh. quickly. <laughs> He's picking up the most feet. Yep. Yeah, you have to wait for him to go fully all the way up and then yeah. press it again. So I keep messing that up. I think I mess it up again and like, very soon and uh, probably next episode but um yeah so i don't think that they're healing these people mostly because that doesn't look very good <laughs> hmm. um the pailush are uh an enemy type that we fought a lot in this game they're always in those containers and you can kind of see it looks like these people are mid transformation yeah like there's these three separate stages so like that's the middle stage mm. barely and then that's like fully transformed it looks oh, like okay. yeah so it seems like they're turning them into these like red polymer yeah enemies um, and so, yeah, I, I don't think, I honestly don't think they're healing them. I think they're, um, right, right. So that one, the guy there or the woman, whatever it is inside that uh, thing just hasn't converted yet. Right. The ones on the table, they just haven't been put into the, and I, I think I even made a comment while recording, which I didn't, I w sorry, while the video was recording, I didn't record my audio, but as soon as I walked in this room, I said out loud, Soylent Green are people. <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, if you remember, there's the earlier chipper that said polymer isn't what you think it is um, in the like upstairs room. That chipper that was like earlier in this episode. Do you remember that? Um, there's, we ran into no. that chipper that was like, uh, it was like at, right at the beginning. It was like three minutes into this episode. Uh -huh. It said something like, uh, oh shit, what's capable of this kind of brutality? This poor lady. You are expressing sympathy for a corpse, Major. It's a woman's mutilated body. You had sympathy for people just a little while ago. This person is dead, comrade Major. Make sure your weakness for women doesn't come back to bite your ass later. Something's definitely wrong with you, Charles. I'm gonna ask Sechenov to calibrate you. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, Sechenov. He's the guy that, um... He's yeah, Sechenov is the one that was talking earlier, right? Uh, on the chipper, you mean? Yeah, was no, that Seshnoff? No, that was oh. friend. Oh, okay. Ke gotcha. Ke his name starts with a K. Oh, okay. I, for I already forgot it, but, uh, what was it? Oh, yeah, so a different chipper, though, not the one with 
the friend on it. Um, is like I said, I think it was the first one we picked up in this episode. It said something like, uh, uh, like whatever polymer isn't what you think it is. Um, and what we think it is was uh, animal carcasses. But we're finding out in this laboratory that it might not just be animal carcasses. Um, is kind of I think the implication here. Oh, this is kind of fun. Wow. Okay. Oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little uh, enemy machine that kind of pops out free loot. Like, yeah. Looks like just kind of a target practice yeah. exercise. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Here's another one that I missed. Yeah, there it is. Gotta count them. Got all the junk. I hmm. did get all the junk. I think that's it for this room. I think I'm headed out of here. So. Oh, one more eight set of emails here. Uh, yeah, so. Right. Processed animals. Yeah, so they, they take animal polymer and they do something with it. What could it be? Ooh, mm. spooky. More Russian. Yeah, I think I looked that up. Thanks so much, guys, for watching this episode. You've made it to the end, and hopefully we'll see you next time in more Atomic Heart. Thanks a lot for joining and watching. Zoink out.